So we're here for a counter demonstration to demonstrate against Tommy Robinson, who's come here to spread his hate, to scapegoat the Muslim community, to talk about, to, to blame the Muslim community for, for child sex, sexual exploitation when we know that um, it's not a problem of the, of the Muslim community. And we're here to, to keep our streets safe from um, the fascists who want to divide us. We absolutely stand with victims of child sexual exploitation and we call for justice. However, we do not accept the likes of Tommy Robinson coming onto our streets and exploiting them to uh, drive his vile racist rhetoric uh, uh, and to divide our communities. Just to say, go back to what Louise said, right? all of us care and want justice for the victims. But the idea that somebody comes into a community and tries to blame one section of the community, the Muslim community, what this is about is about scapegoating and about divide and rule. We know that every survey, every study shows that horrible cases of abuse ha are spread right across society, both for the victims and the, and, and the perpetrators. And so it's really crucial that we, we don't allow one group of people to be targeted. We know that he has a long record of activity, and Islamophobic and racist activity, and violent activity. Right, so we know that what Tommy Robinson and the people around him are trying to do is they know at the moment there's a crisis, there's been COVID, there's, there's the beginnings of an economic crisis. They want people to start blaming their next door neighbour for the problem. And that's why unity is absolutely crucial. Okay, uh, basically, uh, hi everyone. Um, I'm just here today to um, tell people you know, that we're here for the truth, we're not here looking for any trouble. We just want, uh, you know, the crimes to be uh, uh, basically uh, looked into that have been committed uh, through the last 50 years that have been covered up, uh, you know, from uh, the government, the police, the mainstream media, uh, the courts, uh, the judges, the lawyers. of corruption against police officers. Yep. Telford Police identified 200 men in their police investigation. They prosecuted 11. They prosecuted 11. Nicole is the mother of four children. Yeah? Four children. I interviewed her and I saw her bravery, her courage, her determination, even this week, sending me messages when cars started getting blown up, family mem members were targeted. Telford has a 1.7% Muslim population. That means there's 3,500 Muslims in Telford. 3,500. There's 1,000 victims in Telford. 1,000 victims. If you take the 3,500 Muslims 
and you get rid of the women, you have you're 1,750. I hope you're if you didn't get rid of the under 16s and the over 70s, you've got a thousand Muslims. The police, the police inquiry identified 200. The independent inquiry has identified 350. That means between 20 to 35 percent of the Muslim men in this town are raping our kids. You need to feel it, yeah? Don't read a newspaper about 1,400 girls. Meet the 1,400 girls, yeah? Feel the 1,400 girls. How, how have we as a country, how have we as a country allowed our daughters to be raped at an industrial level? I have a message. Why don't those men, Charlie, Carl and all the big boys, come down here and say hello? Why don't they come down and go at us? Why don't they come down and pop at us? Why don't they see how fast they get taken out of this town? And they crush every single one of you, and me, and Tommy, and Anne-Marie. They call us racist. Are we racist? They call us Islamophobes. Are we Islamophobes? Well, I'm not an Islamophobe because I'm not scared of Islam. But we're not standing against anybody except these vile Islamic rape gangs. That's what we're against. And I don't blame you. I don't trust them either. I am asking you to back me and send me to Westminster where I will stand up in our parliament and I will call them out for the rotten child rape enabling dirt that they are. More than anything, the best thing which I take satisfaction from this is if you're a Muslim and you've been raping kids, I'm probably going to turn up with a camera at some point. Thank you all for coming in. If you can support us, do so at Urban Scoop. If you want to support Nicole, Joseph and Nicole, and uh, show her your support, yeah? Cheers. Good night, everybody. Be safe, and please, please go home. Please go home. Please go home. Thank you. Oh, yeah. We take your wages, yeah? Telford Penal Protectors. Truth, it's follow what Tommy's saying. Tommy's not Tommy's never really lied. Do you know what I mean? He's never lied. What he said is turned out to be gospel, it's turned out to be truthful. He's never had a reason to lie, and the only time he's been persecuted is by these people behind you because they have something to hide. Right? I I've spent ten years with these lads around me, right? Going around this country demonstrating, exposing the grooming gangs that are going on in this country and we've been called racist, we've been called xenophobes, we've been called anti-Islamic. Anti Unfortunately, and thank you for taking the time to come here. Take a picture of them fucking packies up there. They're the ones that are fucking doing it, mate. We've been called all manner of names under the sun, but they can't prove that against us because every time they do, we get, we, we've got information, we've got evidence that proves that what we're protesting against is right, it's truthful, yeah? do you know what I mean? So it's not a case of, we're not making this shit up, it's evidence mate, it's all evidence, yeah? that's all I want to say now, so if we can turn your camera. The rise of the, the, these gangs, there used to be like 22 of them in, I quit like, in December, 22 of them in, like, now, they took complete control of the heroin, complete control of the cocaine, and they're raping Cheers, kids man. religiously. Can you imagine if it was one of their yeah, own? Babe, I'm I'm exactly sound like we That's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Be fair, I, mean, I only come to witness it. I just, I just think they they're need, all a bunch of fun. They all need to get off our, they need to get them all and off our street. It's the busiest I've ever seen, the cunts. Can you, a chance. can you imagine if that was one of their children, what they would be doing if that was one of theirs? They take the bribe they over, they want, take the bribe over their, their child's they molestation. They, they take the bribe it. over they their child's they molestation. They would be taking the law into their, their own hands. Because you would then give for a bonus on your pay rise. Social services are corrupt. And if you're for a bonus on a pay rise. The government is corrupt and they all do anything because they just want to pay a rise. Boy, do I, that to I, young I, girls. I know people that have been involved in this group, sex, groom, gang shit and it's fucking wrong. My ex-partner was involved from the age of 11. 
she had she had to try and find her own way out because these bastards wouldn't fucking help. They wouldn't help and they're corrupt. You know do your job. Everything properly. that has been said today is fucking right and these cunts would do anything for a pay rise. Slip any put any money in their pocket, whether it's their own kids getting arrested or not. They don't give a fuck. And it's right. Nice to meet you.